in the game can see the boxing boys. Tested. You know, being an amateur, having over 360 some amateur fights, man, it's unbelievable. And I understand it's being an amateur. I know how the, the Cubans, how they train, how they are able to, to dissect the body. They train to do it. And he's a counterpunch as well, too. When I was fighting Luis Ortiz, I had really had to be on my piece. I really had to be focused. I really had to know what I'm doing. Because even if I just go in and do something, he's already coming back with a counter. I'm like, whoa! You know, when I first went in with a, with a punch, he came back, I'm like, whoa! You know, so it kept me having to change my mindset. I had to switch up a certain things. I had to look at a certain angle with this way. I had to set him up with something. Like, he really allowed me to have my mind to focus and, and, and to dig deep and think about certain situations because I've never been in those situations. He put me in a situation I've never been in before. And I've overcome it like a true champion. So in a sense, did his style set you up for taking on Tyson Fury? No, they're two different styles, you know. Um, in terms of really making you think about landing shots? Well, this boxing, you're going to get hit. You're going to get hit. I don't think it's been, unless they knocked him out early in the first round, you're going to get hit. Even if, you, you know, even those that we consider the all-time great, you know, they got hit. You know, it's part of boxing, you're going to get hit. But the thing about getting hit is people want to see, do you have that chin? Are you that product? Are you that part? People want to see, yeah, they want to see, do you have a chin? They want to see, can you take it and give it as well, too? That's part of the, the giving and receiving, you know? So with that being said, that's all, that's, that's another mindset thing. When you getting hit and you're buzzed or when you're actually hurt, because some people don't understand the difference between being buzzed and being hurt because they haven't ever experienced it. They ain't, haven't never been in the, in the ring to experience getting fired. Whether you hit a you really hit a buzz. You're gonna hit a buzz and you're gonna be like you're drunk, you know? But it's a come to a stage or come to a point in time where you sit back and you have to get, coach yourself out of that situation. A true champion know how to do that. A true champion know how to speak to his inner self, to coach him. You know everything. You know where the ref is with Ortiz. I knew where the ref was. I can see the ref. I can see him while I'm trying to punch. You know, in my mind, I'm coaching myself to get out of this situation, but I also don't stop this fight, ref. Don't, all right, the ref, you got to do something. That's why I was doing petty punches. Yet the ref, he was very experienced. I'm glad he was there. You know, a certain situation that you really have to think about because boxing will take you in a situation that you've never been before. It's like a jungle. You've been in the jungle. You ain't never been in these part of the woods. I don't know where I'm going, but I got to be careful. And that's what Ortiz had me. I had to be careful in those jungles. Do you think Tyson Fury has been to those places? I don't think so. Well, I don't know. I, I'm not a man to, to say that. I'm not a man to say that. You know, he could say he felt that way in Klitschko fight, although it was a snoo fest, you know. I mean, he may feel different. Klitschko was the reigning champion. He was defending, he done had the belt over a decade almost. So, Tyson Fury feelings could have been, you know, somewhere up there. I, I can't say, I can only speak for myself with the opponents that, because of, because of the styles make fights so much, I can't say what another man feels. Have you faced anybody resembling Tyson Fury and his style before? Not at all. It's going to be the first of uh, my t facing a guy tall with an awkward style. But I've faced, I've faced, although their style is different, I've faced awkward guys. And that's the only thing I'm going to be able to go off of when it's dealing with Tyson Fury. I've faced two Southpaws that was very awkward. That was uh, Arthur Spuka and Luis Ortiz. You know, both of those guys' style was very awkward. I had to take time. I really had to figure it out, you know. But with Fury, those two guys prepared me with awkward style at all. Now, how we use this style is going to be determined because we can have similar styles, but we got to be crafty. We have to be able to put our more, you know what I'm saying? You have to mix it up. It's just like, it's just like you having blocks. You have a red, white, and blue block. And you, you're trying to come up with some type of image. And we both have the same colors. I may come up with a flag. You may come up with a train. But they all the same, you know, it's just different ways you put it or whatever, you know. I've spoken today to Tyson Fury's trainer. He says they've won the round before round one. In other words, the mind games. You know, me, you know, you know, 
I'm gonna exaggerate a little bit, you know. I'm gonna go out because I always, I always think high, you know. I'm going, I'm as far as what in America? Yeah. I'm going for two point five. Wow. <laughs> I'm going big, it's baby. Just a little go exactly. big or go home. It might go more. You just never know. You just never know what the interests of the people. You know what I mean? They know our personality already. This is this is probably ain't hard to sell. It's not hard. It's just it's just extra. It's a bonus that you have the personalities of me and Fury. Well, you're the highest rated fighter on Showtime on normal shows. Most definitely, yeah. most definitely. It's gonna be crazy. This fight is gonna. You know, I'm 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 speaking for the best. I'm hoping for the best. I'm believing in the best that happen. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna be like, well, I hope we do this. Nah, 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 nah. This is the biggest fight in the world right now. If you don't, man, if anybody's not interested in this fight, they crazy. They're not boxing fans at all, you know. I can't, I'm, I'm excited about this fight uh, so much. Like, I say, if you're gonna be a fool, please be a fool for yourself and not for no one else saying that, well, well I just talked to them yesterday. <laughs> now you didn't? Well, I just, we just, he always talking about how you talk to us and now you did it. No. You know, and I, I don't understand because when, when I look at this, this this gladiator sport, I look at men's can be honest. Men's can be, yeah, yeah, I did this. This, you know, just my end man up to your thing. I don't look at this sport as a a, 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 a place where people just tell lies because you have to do this. You got it because at, at one, some point in time, it's going to happen. And when it happens, I'm going to reflect on all the stuff I've been through. I'm going to reflect on how much tireless times we stay my whole team. Oh, Shelly like what, 84? Shelly couldn't sleep two, been up two hours, three hours. You know that's too old for him to be up. I mean, he's too old to be up that late. Yeah. 